Okay, hopefully you've taken the time to practice the eight on a hand exercise for two minutes. You've taken the time to practice your single stroke roll for two minutes and the double stroke roll for two minutes at those tempos that I suggested. You need to do that every single day. Now we're going to go on to the sticking exercises of lesson one. Guess what? Everything that we've worked on, everything that we've learned so far will apply here. You've got to make sure that you're paying attention to all those basics because it's going to pay off for you right here. Now, if you look at all these sticking exercises, what you're going to notice is that it's just a combination of right and left hands. All the way through this, we're going to play nice rebound strokes. In fact, if you look at line number one, what is it? Eight on a hand. Line number two, four on a hand. Line number three, alternating double strokes, alternating single strokes. See, if you've been working on those previous exercises, you're golden here. All right, but rather than me taking line by line and showing you how to work up this whole lesson, what I'm going to do is take one line and show you how I work it up with my students. Okay, look at line number five. This is the first kind of quasi-difficult sticking pattern. Actually, it's a very important sticking pattern that we call as percussionists the paradiddle. Okay, it kind of sounds funny, but we often give names to, to uh, different techniques and rudiments by what they sound like. So the paradiddle is essentially two single strokes followed by a double. Pair a did do. Then you do the same thing on the opposite hand. Pair a did do. Okay, this is a very important uh, sticking pattern, so important in fact that it's actually a rudiment and we're going to get to that later. For right now, I just want you to think of it as a combination of singles and doubles. Here's how I work up these lines with my percussion class. We set up first, now what I want my students to do is to say the sticking out loud while they play it in the air or air drum it. So I have them set up here and I'll start off very slow, right, left, right, right left, right, left, left. Actually having everybody air drum it. This way I can check out to see whether or not they've got a good firm contact with their fulcrum, to see whether their brain is engaged enough to be able to speak out loud while they play. This is very a very, very important skill to have. So as we're doing this, first day, I want you to take each line, put it on 120 beats per minute. Right there. Now I'm gonna play this on the pad. Two, ready, go. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. What I have my students do is every single day we'll play a line, just repeat it over and over for at least a minute. Some of these lines are very difficult, some are very simple. So just keep your metronome on day one at 120 beats per minute. Play each line for one full minute at 120. Now you're probably going to be able to memorize a sticking pattern on each line and that's kind of the point of doing it for an entire minute, okay? So look down at your hands, make sure that you're doing proper rebound strokes. When you get to the end of the last line, if you've practiced for a full minute, it's only 10 minutes, then what you want to do is challenge yourself by seeing if you can go from the top all the way to the bottom, all 10 lines without stopping between the lines. So once you get to the end of line number one, we're gonna start the beginning of the next line without stopping. Now, this requires a new skill, the skill of keeping your eyes on the page because you spent some time and you've memorized and you've been checking out your hands and looking at yourself in a mirror. You haven't really developed the, uh, the concept of keeping your eyes on the page, but this is necessary. So when you get to the end of one line, really quickly look at the beginning of the next line. Always read ahead, and this is a very important concept to, to work on. So the way you know that you've mastered this sticking exercise on day number one, you should be able to play all the way through without any mistakes at 120 beats per minute. Day number two, we're at 140. Day number three, we're at 160. Day number four, we're at 180. So I'm taking my time. I'm making sure that I'm practicing enough that I am focusing on that technique and getting those muscles to memorize the motions, okay? That is very difficult. If you get all the way to 180 beats per minute and you can get through all 10 lines, 
without stopping and without making a mistake right here. And every single stroke sounds exactly the same and you're doing exactly the correct technique all the way through, then you have mastered this lesson. But don't try to rush the process. Make sure that you take it day by day. Next, we're going to learn some musical symbols that we'll use to be able to read music.